The Edwards Air Force Base is located in the state of California, and it's home to a number of Air Force units, including some involved in the testing of new technologies. Some of these technologies are taken out on the base's dry lake bed, and that means the place has seen some very strange vehicles speed on its surface over the years. Few of them were probably as strange as a thing called Quarter Horse MK1. Looking not unlike a jet engine on wheels, the Quarter Horse is a test prototype developed by a company called Hermius. It is the precursor to an aircraft called Dark Horse, which aims to be no more, no less than the world's fastest aircraft, traveling faster than the SR-71 Blackbird, which in 1976 set the record for fastest crewed aircraft in the world, at Mach 3.3. The uncrewed design is not meant solely to break the speed record, but it should come as a solution to some of America's military needs of the future. On top of that, it will also be the world's only purpose-built HIMOC drone, there's probably a long time left to wait until the Dark Horse gets here, but its forefather, the Quarter Horse MK1, just managed to reach an important milestone by completing a ground test campaign at Edwards, following 21 days of hard labor, during which top speeds of 150 miles per hour were reached. This procedure targeted the testing of the aircraft's integrated systems and subsystems, but also that of the software and hardware that allows it to be controlled remotely. It also validated the aircraft's control surfaces in light of the upcoming first flight. Even if the aircraft that will grow into is expected to fly at several times the speed of sound, the MK-1 is not expected to make a splash in this sense. That's Beth because the only thing Hermius plans to achieve during its test flight is to take off and land safely. If the jet engine on wheels manages to do that, the lessons learned with it will be incorporated into the Quarter Horse MK-2, which is already being assembled at the Hermius facility in Atlanta. Unlike the MK-1, which uses a General Electric J85 jet engine, the MK-2 will make use of the Pratt & Whitney F-100, which should allow it to go supersonic. Hermius is currently in the process of receiving approval for the first flight of the MK-1 from the USAF 412th Test Wing and the Federal Aviation Administration. It's unclear how long that will take, so we have no estimate on when the first test flight will take place, but at the rate these Hermius guys are going, the MK-1 was put together in just 204 days, it probably won't be very long.